Hey guys, Tucker here from Electric Cycle Rider. I'm down in Florida and today I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head comparison test with a KTM Factory Edition 250 SXF and a Suron X to see which bike I'm fastest on. We've got a one mile loop built out in the woods and I'm going to track my lap times. And to do that, I've got a Lit Pro GPS tracking device that I'm going to be wearing on my helmet and that'll tell me exactly what my lap times are. So I'm going to start out on the KTM and I'm going to lay down my fastest lap and I'm going to go back out there with the Suron X and see if I can match or beat that lap time. Let's go see what we can do. All right, guys, I just finished up a few laps on the KTM and my best time out of that session was three minutes and 47 seconds. Uh, I know I can ride this track faster, but uh, that's the, the lap time I laid down today. And now let's get on the Suron and see what we can do.
right, so I just laid down some laps on the Suron and I thought I did a pretty good job on it. Honestly, this track is really rough, which is, is hard for the mountain bike suspension on this bike, but it's relatively flat, which means that I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't have any hills to climb. And that really shows to the strengths of the Suron because it's not, not a hill climb machine, that's for sure. Um, so all that being said, I thought I laid down pretty much my most flawless lap on this bike. And that time was, drum roll please, a four minute and two second lap. So that's 15 seconds slower than the KTM. To be expected, you know, <laughs> these are two very different bikes and you know, something to take into account here. I, I might've laid down what I thought was a fast lap on this bike, but I couldn't consistently hit that time. It's one of those things where I, if we had to do a, a 10 lap race on this track with these two bikes, I mean, my lap times would definitely fall off a lot on the Suron, but I thought I did pretty damn well considering how rough this track is. Um, I pretty much just full throttle pinned it around this entire thing. There's some corners where I'll slow down, but otherwise it's just fully tapped and try to carry your momentum. And yeah, uh, four minutes and two seconds, not too bad. All in all, a super fun test. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if there's any bikes that you wanna see go head to head, leave me a note in the comment section and I'll see if I can get it done. Thanks for watching.